I like the security in New Hampshire. I like the fact that it's a very safe state. Um, and secondly, I like the fact that I have a lot of, there are a lot of outdoor, outdoorsy places to go. It's a very nature friendly environment. Um, you can walk 20 minutes from the campus and go to go do a cabin trip. And uh, no, the third thing would be that it has I have access to cities um, while living in this kind of um, very nature friendly area. It's a very relaxed environment. It's not really crowded, so people are generally relaxed. They're very supportive, very kind, and open to meeting new people. And being able to have those the experience in the class really helped me out um, with my experience at my internship. Usually when my boss come in, I will check in with her. The customer that you were working with, uh, what's yeah. the status on that one? Um, yeah, he's he's fine now um, because I called him at first and there was some confusion between our statement exactly. and their record of their account with us. Okay. Um, so I explained to him advice. and I gave him the materials that he needs because I think he he's he was missing some uh, invoices and credit memos. It's a good yeah. follow up because yeah. we always if a customer's unhappy we want to follow yeah. up to make sure yeah. that they're satisfied with what you've given. That's yeah. good. I think that. The first thing to, to acknowledge, and it seems very simple, but it's not, is that you should really communicate in whatever way you think appropriate to people around you what you're interested in doing. If you are clear about that and communicating about it, that puts forth in the minds of others, this is what you're interested in, and maybe I have a suggestion or an idea or connection point that can help you get there. So I think it's important to advocate for yourself in that way, to talk about where you'd like to go. And that may not be a direct line, and there may be other steps involved with getting there. But if you have those conversations, and they don't need to be formal and tell people what you're interested in doing, you'd be surprised how far along that can get you on your path. You see, that was awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Yesterday, at my soccer game, my mom was cheering so loudly. It was super embarrassing. Isn't that the worst? I hate it when my mom does that. When my mom came to the art show, she made such a big deal about my texture and my landscape painting in front of Mrs. Miller. She's an interior designer, so she's all about art. Oh yeah? My mom is a science professor. You wouldn't believe how she quizzes me at the science fair. How did you calculate the mean rate of water flow, Lynn? I'm 12. I have no idea what that means. You guys are the, the hashtag generation. Take that hashtag off the screen and make it something productive. The trick is making me to turn into change. Testimonials are incredibly important at any level, but if it stays a hashtag, it does nothing but provide a testimonial. So what we see at the national level with the uh, Time's Up providing uh, monetary support for people to make legal claims about sexual harassment, sexual assault, incredibly important because that's an action mm -hmm. as opposed to a um, hashtag. Uh, and on campus, Denim Day and uh, the SART team and the various programs we have. I would like to see uh, broadcasts from Franklin Pierce uh, that go all over the country, whether it's basketball games uh, here at the university or uh, participation in the broader, uh, broader world in terms of news coverage and the ability of journalists to cover stories. And of course, being in New Hampshire, you have so many politicians coming through here for, with elections of every kind. Uh, the students get a chance to that, and that was a natural for me because I had been in the White House for 10 years before I arrived at Franklin Pierce. Life is, has those ups and downs in every career and every uh, profession and so forth, and there's always winning and losing, but uh, you just keep prodding ahead.